Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm Franz Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today I'm going to show you how to do um, kind of a cute little candy shop Halloween uh, frame. I got this one from Lynn and I decided that I, we're going to embellish that. So this is just a frame that we got at Walmart, I think, and the opening it is 12 by 5. Five or five and five. So what we're gonna do? And we're gonna let me move this. We're gonna take our paper. This is the Halloween paper, the uh, witch brew, and I already started, so you guys don't have to watch it all the way. So I took my marker, uh, Daffodil uh, Delight, and I color candy and vary just here and there and. I'm gonna do the witch too, and the witch I'm gonna do a little bit of different color. So I'm gonna do the yellow and the W. So you see, it's black, so it, you don't have to be very careful because it's just showing that creamish color. So I get the W, and then I'm gonna do um, is that eggplant, rich razzle berry for the eye. So you just color any color that you want. And I just choose some color that was good for Halloween pretty much. And this is Pierre Pizzazz for the tea. And you see you don't have to be very careful at all. Then I'm going to use the pumpkin for the C, pumpkin pie. Here we go. And then I'm going to go back with the yellow. Remember the tips for your marker, when it's for writing and when it's the brush, it's like to color and it's perfect too when you want to use that for a stamping to go on your stamp. And then I'm going to use Rich Razzle Berry. So you just add colors here and there. And then I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, candy corn and then that would be the green here so now you see that how I add my color on this designer series paper so the rest are going to leave it the way it is um, I added delights and treats that I had it in the green too and the candy shop I went all in the yellow and daffodil and after I went with the pumpkin pie here and there to make it look kind of um, the what you may call it uh, candy corn so now let's do our candy corn and you see here I did with the glimmer silver glimmer paper I did some candy corn the best thing that I find if it's you start with a rectangle paper and this is about a uh, one and three quarter you find your center let me poke just the center here and then when you get your center, you put the center there, right in the center, and then put the point at the end. So all this here, and then cut, turn this around, keep your point there, and then cut. So that's going to give you your uh, acorn. And then those little one here that... Um, you can use them still. You see the shape, it's kind of weird. So the best thing, take this. And you still have a nice size acorn. and Not acorn, but uh, candy corn. And then I would do the same thing with this. Okay, now the best thing to do is take the P, because it's very pointy, just turn this around so make it look more like a real candy corn I think it look much better when you round your corner and then I'm going I would do that with all of them but now let's do this medium one here let me do the round this up and then we're going to start coloring this to make it look like our candy corn let me pull you down a bit. So we're going to start with yellow and this is just a plain Sharpie. Just color this. 
You could use a sponge and ink, but I find that the Sharpie, if you get the right color, it go much faster. And then I'm going to use my uh, orange. And then I'm sure if you use your stamping up marker, it would, uh, after doing a few of them, it would damage your tip because it's very rough. So the Sharpie are cheaper for me to uh, get, so it's perfect. Here we go. So now we get our acorn. See the top? I really don't like it because it's too, um, was too pointy. I'm just going to round this up more. Voila. So now that we get this, we're going to cut our paper at 5 inch that we uh, already pre-cut. Let's move, let me move you a bit. Let's put that at 5. Oops. Going to move that right at the edge there. Oops, I didn't pay attention. That's okay, we're going to make it work. Let's hope I can work with this. I went below five. So, let's take our frame. Let's put that in the back. Let's see. Oh, oh perfect. So now that I got this, I'm going to take glue dots. And I know I put some right here. Let me reach for my glue dots. And we're going to put right on the frame our candy corn. So I'm going to take the candy corn. I'm going to put a glue dot. And a glue dot. And do I want it upside down or up? I think I want it up. No, I want it upside down. Because up it looked too much. Oops, let me move so you can see. Voila! And then I would take another one, the little one, and one over here, and then another one. Voila! So now you got, oh, you get a lot of glare, and you see me in the, here we go. So now you get your lovely frame with colors and your candy corn on the side. So hope you learned something new and to see the finished product better, just visit my blog at FrenchyStamps.com. Thanks for watching.